We are now going to go over how the map resolver and the ITRs interact with one another um, within Lisp. And like I said before, Lisp is the control plane for the SD axis. So now we have the ITR, which is the ingress tunnel router. And the ingress tunnel router um, is a Lisp site edge device that receives packets from site facing interfaces and encapsulates them to, res to remote Lisp sites or forwards them to non Lisp sites as well, which we're going to see later on. And then we have the map resolver and the map resolver or the MR is a Lisp infrastructure device to which Lisp site ITRs or ingress tunnel routers send Lisp map request queries when resolving EID to our lock mappings. So we are going to see how that actually works. So down here we have the map resolver or the MR which has EID to our lock location information. And this map resolver, in a lot of times, it is also the MS, which we talked about previously. And the MS is basically the one that gets all the information from the ETRs, right? And this too, the ITR is also usually um, an ETR. So there, this, this, uh, in, a lot of, in a lot of times, um, the ITR is also the ETR, and the map resolver is also the map server. Um, so what happened is that the, let's say that the ITR wants to know where 3.3.3 .3 is, and it's not cached, right? It doesn't know what it is. What it's going to do is it is going to send a map request to the map resolver. Like where is 3.3.3.3? And the map resolver, it is going to send a map reply with the outlock um, location, right? With the location. And this time, since it is 3.3.3.3, it is going to send the outlock of AD, which is this one over here, right? So what's going to happen is after the ITR right, is going to encapsulate the data and it's going to put it on the underlay and send it to the ETR over here. Like I said before, the ETR in a lot of, a lot of times is also the ITR. They function, um, they have the same functionality under just one device. So it, it puts it on the underlay it encapsulates and sends the traffic to our lock AD, which is this one right here. So after that, what is going to happen is that the ETR is going to de-encapsulate that, that data, and it's going to see that it is going to EID 3.3.3.3, and it is going to forward to that device. Now, like I said before, in most situations, the ETR functions as the ITR as well. So it does both functionalities. And the map resolver is also the map server. As you can see right here, right? Make this channel grow by donating. You can go to ccdt.com slash donate, and you can either do it through PayPal or Patreon. If you select the PayPal option, um, you can select any amount you want. On Patreon, we have three different membership, three, five, and nine dollars per month, and you can cancel whenever you want. Also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel at CCNA Daily Tips. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye bye.